Alright guys, bad news, my horse died. As you can tell, we're back. This is a part two to the last video. You can go and watch the previous one before this, or don't. It's really up to you. Both videos, this one and that one, are going to be good. Last video was mainly my start, which was pretty crazy. Like, I was winning crazy fights for tons of loot. And I can't lie, I'm going to be doing the same thing in this video, more or less. But I do end up getting a couple raid defenses and whatnot. Yeah, if you're new here, drop a sub. I drop one or two videos every single week, hour-long videos. And if you're not new here, and you're somebody who's returning watching again, I greatly appreciate you, bro. It's crazy that people still come back and watch my videos every single week after months. But yeah, intro's been long enough. Uh, enjoy the video. That didn't go well, did it? And if y'all watched last video, you might recognize this guy, Dogwater. His team, I stole their heli like twice, maybe even three times, I don't remember. But you can see that they are now running out prim to counter me. And I just got fucking grubbed. I should have stayed in game chat. God, my MP5 spray is shit now. I had to get on road. And after that, this group decided to take heli once again. I countered them in the last video. If y'all remember the heli counter where I ran into barn after. But they had two guys, maybe three, on roof, as you can see. And they also had two guys on ground looting the crates. And you can tell how scared these guys were of me countering because they had the two guys on ground completely naked with DVs looting the crates. No way. Tone. No. They've got two on roof with M2 and two looting the crate snake at DB. Rocket PVP me. He just watched his teammate get tripled beside him.
just headshot him. <laughs> Easy body shot. Peek me again, bitch. Peek me again. Easy body shot. And after that heli counter, I decided to log off and see if anyone would try to offline me. I also just wanted to take a break from Rust because I didn't feel like playing anymore. And I feel like it is important for me to show the conversations I had with the guys that I just countered at heli. And these are the conversations with Hype Foxtrot. I pretty much made fun of him for the two on roof and two nakeds on ground. And he complained about me coming over in a black kit. I was wearing Hazzy. <laughs> And he told me not to offline him, and then told me to online him when I'm a solo. And this one I pulled a little manipulation tactic, told him I was hopping off. I meant to say don't offline me, maybe I'll online you. And he even said, LMAO, we don't got boom because of you. Which, I knew this was a lie because they are practically farm bots. Their base was literally finished before I even built mine. And they raided about 20 minutes after I got off, and when I logged on, I was already dead to him. I accidentally spawned random, and then my kill and respawn was on timer. And then I had to run all the way down the shore to a wooden gate to die to the code lock so I could spawn back at base. Which is where I proceeded to get shot through a wall right after walking out of base. Where's my loot? Well, that didn't really do much. You bitch. Take that shit, bitch. I'll take that shit. Why y'all gotta raid at night? Making my shit more difficult. Logan, they fucked my base up, I'm not gonna lie. And as you can tell, I managed to win the raid. And after seeing just how close they got a raid base to my compound, I decided to set up externals. Oh, 
Oh, rocket launcher on a naked spotty. Oh, rockets and a fucking AK kit right here. Hopefully this starts fucking okay. And of course, I forgot to start recording it, but these guys asked for me to not counter their brat. Which, if y'all watched the last video, I killed these guys for a lot of kits. They door camp me a lot, all of that good stuff. I said I wouldn't counter their brad, even though I was completely lying. I countered, killed all three of them, and took the loot. They even managed to camp my base and kill me, but I went back out with an M39 and killed them again. They begged for the crates back, said that I lost all of their respect. And I joined their party the day before, gave them a base tour on a share screen. And honestly, I would have let them have the brad, but when I joined their party in the previous day, they were calling each other the n-word and whatnot, and it was just really toxic. And then they also door camped me a ton the day before. And after stealing their brad, I decided to take heli with an LR, because I still had no M2. be landing spot I guess. I mean I would assume it's just for the Halloween. Oh my god, no. finally. And after that heli take, I hopped off, went to bed, and I did not get on until about 5pm the next day. Other than Wyatt shooting out one of my doors with explo ammo, nobody tried to offline. And after logging back on, I went straight for a crate across the map at Train Yard. So much easier. There's no way I just doubled him and he survived. Okay, new hollow on the AK is not it. I I gotta practice with this shit. I forgot about that. I gotta go look. And over the course of the, like the next hour, not much really happened. I hit a farm run and got roof camped. <laughs> and I once again hopped off because I was bored and someone tried to offline me once again.
and shout out these beautiful turret traps and of course the mindset of offliners where they think if they get on the roof they'll be fine. I killed the two guys on roof, the raid was over, there was nothing they could do about it. And after yet another raid defense, I logged off once again to see if somebody would try to offline. Silent Star, really? Am I getting raided by a prim kid? That's 3C4, bro. Oh, look at that. He's got Zen in his name. And I can't really show it because I'm not trying to get my video striked. This guy Zen came back, talk shit in game chat. Kind of ironic, but he was telling me to get a job. Yet, he was the guy that was on Rust at 4am offline raiding a solo. Pussy. You can't really get a job, but you can't fucking do anything yourself. Oh, you yeah. mad, you mad, you mad Pirate. little- and after that I decided to stay on for a little while, put up a couple extra turrets just to make defending easier if something crazy happened. Also did some recycling for some scrap and hike wall. Even added a shooting floor which I honestly didn't need, I just kinda wanted to add it. And finally, logged off once again. And logging on the next day, I heard footsteps in the compound right when I logged on. This time I wasn't logging on to a raid, I just logged on to someone in my compound. And I heard him ladder out, so I patiently waited to see when he would come back, hoping that he would bring Boom. And at this point, I was just stockpiling boom. Like, come on. It's crazy that a solo can have all of this just from baiting offlines. And the guy I just killed for the explo, his name's Wyatt. Don't give him any hate or anything. Wyatt is genuinely a nice guy. He plays the game specifically to raid people. He's on old gen, so he mainly just plays the game to have fun and get loot. I ended up talking to him, so definitely do not be negative or message him or anything. Anybody else in this video, I don't really care. Y'all seem to do it either way, whether or not I say it. And I actually ended up allying with Wyatt because I... I don't know why, to be honest. I even let him chill in the party with me while I was playing, that kind of thing. And finally I got to use my M2 to take heli. No, I thought for a second when I got shot by that turret. Dude, I just... <laughs> Imagine... I'm just running over to the island found an airdrop. Name one of them is Carman. I'm sure. That guy just got fucking silenced. Sounds like. It. Can't really hear it, but. What you say? Yeah, it's soon. Soon. But they're going to Billy start Bob silencing. Joe. Billy Bob? Yeah. Some guy named Prompt. 
Hezbollah. Deeper, is that what you're asking? Yeah, I think. And after Heli, I took Brad, which I ended up dying to counters. It was Vital Nobu, which was one of the guys that had offlined me. I went back, and they were sitting in a bush waiting for me. Yes, very. Oh my god, he's sitting in a bush. I'm fucking done. And I can't lie, I roof camped one of them right after. And then I got on ground and chased down the other one. I'm just waiting for my team. Actually, I know where they live, probably. I-5 or I-3. Yeah. Spawn over here. Why? You want loot or not? <laughs> oh. Okay. Behind you. Hello. Okay, right here, and then right below me, there's another. Okay. Half loaded kit. <clears throat> here, I'm dropping you a ton. Is there guns on the floor? And after that fight, I logged off until Wyatt told me that Heli was back out. I hopped on and took it, which it gave me a 1C4 crate for some reason, and then an M2 and an AK. It's just a rare crate. Only got on in the first place to take Heli. Okay, asshole. I'm getting M2'd, bro. And horrible. Holy shit, you're horrible. I- I just killed M2 with an M39. Okay, there's a free M2. That guy just stood up. Alright, let's see who it was. Brett don't care. Damn, this Are guy's loaded. Well, damn. I need, I need a perk 30. That was the other guy. Ace over by them, I'll go check. And after that, I took Bradley once again. No one even countered. Which was lucky because I was stuck in ticket booth because of fire. 5k and... Oh, there's my M2 back. In. Oh, double M2. Double, nice. None? And a C4, double N, two C4 is crazy. Yo, what the fuck? What? Bear on the car is crazy. <laughs> Wait, you died to it? Nah, he was just chilling on the car. He jumped off of it when I came over here. Stole all the Brad loot. Jesus Christ! Oh my 
my god. What, what am I supposed to do? And let's be honest, like 100% honest, is it even a McLovin Caleb wipe if they don't sit on the edge of launch and wait for me to come back? And the best way to deal with someone's toxic playstyle is by being toxic yourself. You already know I went to roof camp. Where are you gonna go? Nowhere. I'm so bad, bro. What am I doing? Holy... And I'm not gonna lie, that one fight took me like seven transfer runs to get all of the loot into my base. Luckily I had the 2 by one outside that they were hiding behind and I depoted most of it in there. And after that I decided to buy a horse and head to a water treatment crate, but there was already people there. That's the base getting raided. Dude, there's like grubs above a better angle. Have you a tent, I guess? Is that. I'm pretty sure no. And after a W crate counter, I decided to go after a raid that Wyatt was talking about. They had a raid base down and everything, and he was watching over the raid. And luckily, I would bought the horse so I could get there even quicker. I gotta feed this horse so I can get there quicker. Yeah, they're in the bait compound. He's not? I thought... He just smoked. What the hell? He's smoking himself again. There's two. Kill two. Where are the bodies? Guy dead right here, grab that and run. If I'm you want the loot, it. get out. Did he have a gun? Up the up the hill. Here I'm putting a Tommy or a flashlight. Below you, below you, AK. Below you. AK? Where? Right on Find you. It? You're standing on it. There. <laughs> Got post. Egg near, so I'll come back.
some wood or something would be nice. I spawned in the wrong bag. I would take Kelly if I had meds. Actually, I, I might have- Get over here, there's so much loot. Sorry, I spawned in the wrong bag. And since there wasn't enough to seal the raid base, I decided just to hold it until Wyatt could get here. I let him grab an inventory and I got out with an inventory of the best stuff. I don't. Oh well. And after getting back to base and depoting, there was another big fight right outside my base. Those hurt from far. After that, I somehow managed to pull off a trade with a naked without even knowing it was happening. There's a DB guy in there? Of course there is. Oh my god. Holy slam. Bro, I would fucking uninstall. That is crazy. And if you heard the Xbox notification in the background, it was the guy that I just quickscoped on the mountain asking if I was Zen. I'm not even gonna lie, almost every single person that I played against on this server accused me of cheating. And after that, Wyatt said he met some guys in the safe zone who were talking shit about me. And they were also camping him waiting on him to leave, so I decided to go over there. Yeah, he has something on his back though. Is there any actual kitted players? There's a, I, that guy has something up. He's holding something that naked. Yeah, I know. Uh, go. I'm run up. Okay, stay in my view. Go. I'm going this way towards you. Yeah, just go. It, that naked's did dumb. Did he see me? He's fucking dumb. Look at him. <laughs> Dead. By the way, that one was the one talking trash. This one? Go to game. Yeah. What's up, you little bitch? <laughs> talking all that shit for what? And after that, I decided to go and pay Vital Nobu and his team a visit. The same guys who tried to offline me where they were too deep on roof with full metals and I shot at them with M39. And they were living in the worst 2x2 build I think I have ever seen.
You're M39, right? What the fuck is that? Hitbox. This rock is irritating the fuck out of me, bro. I killed them both. He's silencing me from roof. Imagine that. Stop being weird, bro. Oh, he was a five. I'll grab the MP5 and flank the other people, okay? Oh my god, I'm dead. He's he just m 2 me from roof. You're getting offline. I'm I'm gonna be in your base tonight. On God. On God. Right now I'm gonna be in your base tonight. And I was not joking at all. I'm not gonna lie. Everyone always complains that I always end up with a bunch of boom and I don't use it, so I decided I was gonna use it this way. I went over to Vital's base to see what it looked like and see if it would be hard to raid, which it definitely wouldn't. And the fact that they had already tried to offline me once before was making me want to raid them even more. So I shut all the doors in base, hopped off, took a nap, and hopped back on later that night. Fuck no. Holy shit, their TC coverage is bad. How is that Why? not decaying? What are you doing? Making a raid base? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm solo. I have to make a raid base. Holy, you can have it. It's so blow it. Why can't. Why is their privilege so bad? It's so badly. Billy Bob Joe was with them. He was? This shit is actually sad. Why? Okay, here we go, box of guns. A fridge? They have a fridge in here. You pretty sure, second? I'm about to go out there and look. Tier 3 items. I didn't even check these boxes. Row and a half of pumpkin baskets. Dude, they're fucking poor. What is this? I'm about to check their bodies. Oh, and these coffins. I didn't even access these. AK kit, full metal MP5, no M2, oh here's an M2, found the one they had, and after about an hour of transferring, this is what my loot looked like, they didn't really have much compared to me, but I guess it added on top.
And hopping on the next day, I decided to go ahead and put an end to the wipe. This was going into my fifth day on the server, and it was pretty much dead because of me. I stayed on this server from the time that it was 80 pop right after wipe to the point where it was 20 pop midday. And before hopping off, I decided to give Wyatt some of the loot instead of despawning it all so he could have fun with this. <clears throat> Here, come to what? me. I'm gonna give you this. If I only have ice pick. Give you I'll one. follow you home. Oh, you're getting off? Yeah, I already despawned the whole base. But I'm gonna let oh. you have the boom. Thanks. Do you want me to raid anyone? No, I don't care. Is that rib yours? No. Then whoever lives in this base is raiding. Or, not fucking raiding. Taking but if we guys. cross here, then we can go straight to my base. Uh, we just... And they just took... Oh god. You better not hit your shots today. Oh my god! What? It's pure well. I have no idea what the odds of this is, but these guys were the guys that I had raided the previous night. They were building back up right in between me and Wyatt's base, so I decided to help Wyatt and raid them. Destroyed. On a raid. Okay, so stand over Timer. There. Open. Everything's open. Where's TC? TC's right here. I'm breaking TC. TC's broke. You want seal? Can you try to get seal in mats? It's I'm juice. I'm trying to break their bags first. Oh. I got a jacket. I think I just killed him again. Oh, he shut that door. Oh my god. Killed him. Okay, get down in there and break my bag. Or break his bag. And of course, W clutch from Wyatt. After getting my AK kit back, I went to Brad because someone took it. Holy, why is my FPS so bad? And of course, after securing the Brad loot, I headed back to Wyatt's base. Yeah, okay. Do you want to play my teammate? Or... That's good. Force. Look at my body. Oh, nice. 